welcome to the Lone Ranger Vintage Action Series episode. ActionFigureResource.com Yesterday's Toys, Today's Treasures the Lone Ranger made his very first public appearance way back in 1933 as a radio serial, and due to its huge popularity was later adapted to both TV and movies. He was a former Texas Ranger who fought outlaws in the Wild West with his native Indian friend Tonto. The original TV series ran from, from 1949 to 1957 with Clayton Moore starting as the Lone Ranger and Tonto played by Jay Silverheels who was a Mohawk from the Six Nation Indian Reserve in Ontario, Canada. His title didn't come from the fact that he likes to work or ride alone, but because he was the only surviving member of the group of six rangers who were ambushed by a group of outlaws led by Bartholomew Butch Cavendish. Tonto later stumbled upon the massacre and found one of the rangers barely alive and nursed him back to health. The first Lone Ranger action figures were released by Dollcraft Novelty Company of New York City in 1937 and 38. The listed copyright is TLR Company. Two figures were produced as high yo silver dolls, each standing approximately 10 and a half, 15 and a half and 20 inches tall of Tonto and the Lone Ranger. These figures consisted of composition flange heads and lower arms, stuffed cloth body, upper arms and legs, stitched hip joints, molded painted hair, painted eyes, closed mouth. The Lone Ranger and Tonto are dressed in a fox buckskin and Swede clothing and each has a holster with two guns. It's very rare to find these dolls in mint condition. First, due to the fact that they were made out of composition, which is pressed sawdust and glue, therefore they broke and chipped very easily. They also came with a host of accessories and it is especially rare to find them complete with everything. Like the hat with the paper hatband with Lone Ranger written on, the original string tag, Tonto's rubber knife, the original cap guns and his badge as well as the original box. These figures originally priced for $350, it's very rare to find these dolls in MIB condition. The last Lone Ranger I've heard selling off at auction in the original box brought $1,300. Marks Gabriel, The Lone Ranger Rides Again, 1973-79. Despite having no major TV, movie or comic book media tie-ins at the time of its release, Gabriel's Lone Ranger line of action figures was probably one of the highlights of the late 1970s. Its success was in no small part due to Gabriel's unfailing dedication to this line, providing fans and collectors with a huge range of figures and playsets all produced to an excellent standard and superb quality in order to give kids a completely immersive experience. Unlike the later The Legend of the Lone Ranger lines of figures, the Lone Ranger Rides Again line, released in 1979, was reminiscent of the 1949-65 TV series. While researching these, I came across several sites that quoted a Hubley Gabriel series having been released in 1973, but I cannot find any reference to these, so I only assume they are confusing these with the 1979 Hubley Gabriel Marx line. An alternative explanation may be that they were originally released by Gabriel in 1973 and Marx were their European distributors. As I found examples of MIB figures, bearing both the Gabriel and Marx logos. Also, if you see the images below, you will see that Marx were the official distributors. My guess is Gabriel later released and repackaged them in 1979 under their own logo and trademark. Also, many of the eBay auctions are for the 1979 The Lone Ranger Rides Again line, not the 73 and 75 Hubley Gabriel released as many states. If you look closely at the images, you will see many have this clearly written on the boxes or blister cards. So, as always, be careful and check thoroughly before purchasing. 
The initial line consisted of five 8-inch figures, but the European producers, Marx, released two extra characters, Tex Dawson and El Lobo. As well as these, Gabriel also produced the Tonto and Red Sleeves double pack. There was also a variant of the Red Sleeves released with the arrow firing action feature. Most of these figures were packaged in both solid boxes and blister packs. But from what I can gather, the blister packs were more predominant in Europe, whereas the box figures were more popular in the US. The only exception to this, as far as I can see, is the little bear figure, which was only packaged in a box. Of course, any Western action figure line would be incomplete without horses. This line had four horses. Silver for the Lone Ranger, Smoke for Butch Cavendish, Scout for Tonto, and Banjo for Dan Wright. There were also three horses and rider sets for Tonto, the Lone Ranger, and Butch. Some of these came with the Action Saddle figure, and they were available in an unusually large number of various packages rather than standard packages across the line. But Gabriel didn't stop there. They also produced a large number of classic Western adventure sets, play sets, and outfit packs, giving the figures some great environments and settings for play. These ranged in size, from the enormous cars and CD play sets to the less extravagant European sets, but the only thing they all shared was Gabriel's dedication to producing high quality and standard products. Only one vehicle was produced for the line, and that was Prairie Wagon, but this could be converted into four different types of wagon. The MIB and MOC figures are well sought after by collectors and often fetch prices of $150 to $200, whereas loose figures generally fetch for approximately $50. MIB horses sell for about half this price singularly, and the horse and rider sets for about $200. The MIB and MOC adventure packs and sets go for similar prices to the loose figures, usually averaging around $50 to $60. However, as you know, the market is continually fluctuating and changing. So, if you see prices much higher than these, don't despair, just be patient and bide your time. On the other hand, if you see some selling for much lower prices, then grab them if you can! A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver The Lone Ranger! Please like, subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Actionfigureresource.com Yesterday's Toys, Today's Treasures.